Greetings and welcome back one and all to Total War Warhammer and of course to the Vampire Count. Now, in the beginning of this episode, we are going to work on tidying up a few things. And one of the things that I would like to tidy up is Manfred's army. Specifically, I would like to deal with you here. The treasure, income from vampire crypts and vampire keeps, 8 plus 8%, local region only. Not as useful for an army that is going to be wandering around and spending quite a lot of its time in other people's regions. So we are actually going to take that one away. Can I add the student? No, I can't. Well, it's just annoying. Okay, well, there is a possibility that the student is someone for my heroes to have. Yes, it is. Research rate plus 10% faction-wide. I like it. Uh, sure, we'll take uh, that one, so you can come along with our necromancer here. Now, our necromancer is currently um, specced towards actually taking part in armies and combat. The other line that we could go down seems more focused on actual hero actions, sort of like subterfuge, treachery, assassinations, that kind of thing. Though, the necromancer seems... Um, Oh, actually, no. You've you've got a uh, you've got a kind of a assassination-y thing down there. Plus eight percent chance of killing people, but you've also got a nightmare that you can have. So, uh, as far as things go, I actually like the idea of you being uh, a mainline combatant. However, let's actually have a look at our banshee, ghostly howl. Melee attack, missile resistance. So you don't actually have a steed, okay. Weapon strength, attack, defense, strength, speed. Uh, chance of spotting nearby foreign uh, enemies. You've got spy, though. You've got different things. Uh, ac uh, scout. Reduces the success chance of an enemy hero action against the local settlement. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, deployed in own province. Very well. You've actually got assassin straight away. Additional 3% chance of killing a target. Harassment. More attrition. It looks like this character is more of an offensive hero in terms of offensive acts against an enemy faction. So what I think I might do is get her a couple of levels just in the main army and then split her off and actually have her take part in some other things. But let's go ahead and end the turn and see how things go for us. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to do. Drat, damn, and blast. Uh, I did mean to move the treasure over to our secondary arm. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Sylvania will be overcome with war. It is time the lesser vampires realize to... Oh my good, are you actually declaring war on me? Wow, you are declaring war on me. You idiot. Alright, well, I am, I'm going to wipe you out. That's, you only get, get one chance. That uh, chance has been squandered, you're going to die. Right, an enemy within. One of your spies, who flits between the courts of mortal men, seems to be straying from his appointed task. He is being, he, uh, sorry, he is a being that still breathes, but craves the red kiss. Perhaps a visit is in order to remind him who he serves. Give him a whiff of immortality, uh, which would give us the carrot. Is that, yeah, that is the carrot, okay. Turns remaining two. Your heroes have been refocused. Hero action cost, minus 20%. All characters, okay. Or snap his neck. Uh, the stick. <laughs> the stick instead of the carrot. Such insolence from a mortal servant cannot be tolerated. Visit him in his chambers and make his last moments agony. Oh, I get it. The carrot and stick. Right. The carrot is favored over the stick. A visit in the dead of night under the guise of a bat swarm and a drop of unholy blood should remind him of his agenda. Um... Hero action success chance, plus 10%. Well, I'm not using my heroes at the moment in a sort of active role. But then they're not doing anything. It's just really one or other. No, insolence. We, this is what happens when we're merciful. Temple half. No, snap his neck. Hopefully I didn't just lose one of my people. I did not. Good, good. That would have, that would have been sad. Right, well, what I would like to do with you then is... First and foremost give you the treasurer. There you go. Enjoy. Now, secondly, I would actually like you to move over here. The shadows. Got a little bit of room. I would like you to ambush. Uh, 
and where is dead? Can we get any more powerful units for us? Uh, sure, I'll take you. You know what? The bats would be good in 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 a group. So yeah, sure. We'll take some more bats. I really can't believe that you did this. You little swine, you. Uh, who have we got here then? We've got no, no. Diga von Drek. You've got two units. Okay. And you are holding this place, which has it's only level one. Or Orbistaya. Oh no, actually sorry, it's, it's very heavily upgraded. It's fully upgraded and it's got a big garrison too. Uh, okay, well, what does it have? It's got a very big garrison. Alright. Very well. Let us get you back down there. Okay, raiding. We're going to continue raiding while we're moving through this territory just because it prevents us having attrition. Alright, well that's all we're going to do for now. Let's see where things go. Yeah, little scamps, you. I'll bring you to heal. Ambush foiled! One of our forces has been detected while attempting an ambush in Eshen. Oh no! Winds of magic change. The fickle winds of magic spill from the realm of chaos and flow across the world. The winds wax and wane in incomprehensible fashion, at times blowing a gale, while in other places becalmed. Now the arcing currents have changed once again. The stronger the winds are blowing in a region, the faster they will replenish in battle, thought they, and vice versa. This affects how many spells can be cast over the course of a battle. But it won't. Uh, winds of magic are very powerful. Wow, okay. I like it. I no. like it much. Uh, no. Try an ambush again, please. Actually, why am I ambushing there? Don't, don't ambush, no. By all means. Ambush down here. Why? I forgot. I forgot that this was ours. Uh, I'm so, so clever. Actually, do it from within the border of the castle. That way, they should be able to help us out. We should get some reinforcements if needed. No, you won't. I don't have one anymore. I'm, I'm a vampire. I'll take uh, Right. Hmm. Somewhere, some somehow, Louis is weeping at that comment about vampires not having souls. Uh, well, we could just throw ourselves into the fight, I suppose. I would prefer to fight for Obastire, but no, sure, we'll we'll get in there. And I could enter ambush stance. No, I would. I would still be harassed. If I attack him here, would I be pulled into a fight in Fort Obstire? Or would Van Kruger come out to help? Ooh, that's a good question. Because if I can cause this... That's fine. Will an attack be wise? Hmm. Yeah, I'll bring in a lot of reinforcements, actually. Uh, but your reinforcements... Well, you've got a lot of spear. And over here, you've got quite potent forces, actually. Okay, retreat from that battle for now. We'll just hang tight and continue to... Uh... Actually, we could just ambush. It doesn't look like we're suffering any kind of attrition. Alright, we'll just hold tight for a turn or two. We've got three turns before we get some research done, which would be nice. What I would like is for them to but do not assume that split up. Share a bloodline. Thou shalt not be shackled to mine will. Peace, my blood kin. Instead of war, let us drink a fine vintage. I have a particularly arrogant Bretonian noble in my cellar with ripe veins. No, I want more. A lot more. Uh, I kind of want to kill you, though. Counter offer. I want a much, much bigger payment. That is how much I want. Okay.
Okay, yes. Sign your precious parchments, as if it means anything to me. I will kill you. But yeah, his rank has grown much higher now. One of our forces has been detected while attempting an ambush in Fort Obstire, Western Sylvania. <laughs> That's fine. For now. For now, it's fine. I'll wait until you're out of there, and then I'll come in and crush it. And you along with it. But for now... We are going to go back into ambush stands and march out there. Alright. Oh, actually, no, not ambush stands, you fool. Raiding stands. There we go. Follow me. There we are. Because we want to cause quite a lot of uh, issues for you. Now, what can we do here then? We could upgrade this at this point to the second level. I think that would be worth the 2000 that it would cost, sure. Can I afford anything else? Anywhere else? I don't think so, unfortunately. Okay. Well, you can come out of your ambush stance and make your way back to Castle Drakenhof then. We'll see what we can do. I'd like to continue upgrading this place if possible. We are currently building the tarnished gold mine there, which will be grand once we've got it. All right. Fine. I am just going to wait for them to be split up before I attack. Ooh. Is this a good thing? Ah, perhaps a pact or even a treaty, if that sounds more agreeable. Okay. Now, it's been explained to me that the way that this works is um, much much more beneficial. There's really never a time where you don't want to agree to this if they're already your ally. Uh, basically, this isn't me giving away 90 units of wine. This is just that I will earn this much based on how much I produce. The more you produce, the more valuable any trade where you're trading that resource is. Uh, it doesn't really strictly, um, there isn't really a, a strong correlation between how much you're producing and how much you're giving away. I, from what I uh, saw in the comments, that isn't quite how this works. What would happen is I'll get 206 per turn. They'll get 66 because they're not trading any of this to me. Uh, I believe this will actually make them happier in some way. It'll strengthen them. They will both get something good out of it, ultimately. They'll also pay me for the the right to have this agreement so i'm totally okay with that there is not anything bad with this trade now then that does give me a little bit more money to play with i could take this up to the next level give me even more public order income from all buildings plus 40 percent all regions in this province income that would actually be nice and plus 20% in adjacent provinces, or I could go with this here. Grants three construction slots in the settlement, provides a better garrison, better growth rate as well. And uh, no, we're going to go with this one. We're going to spend a lot on upgrading Castle and Drakenhof. And once that's up to level 3, we'll be able to take our gold mine up, which will generate a fantastic amount of money for us. It'll also unlock this as well. Now, once that's leveled up, which will require... Uh, I actually will just require a little bit of money. Then I'll get rid of this and replace it with something something a little bit better. Now, some people have suggested that it might actually be worth not doing this. Not having um, the ability to bring all types of troops in this one province. Maybe I should share it out a little bit more. Like, for example, Castle Drake, uh, Templehof might be better for the... I forget which one it was, but uh, there's a third recruitment building. And I think I might be actually quite wise when we go for that. Let's continue moving through. Generating income. Doing bad things to people. They're unhappy. They're very unhappy. Unfriendly and it's deteriorating. Treaties with the Empire, military actions against Templehof, trespass against Templehof, broken treaties with Schwarzhafen. They condemn raiding the Empire, trespassing against the Empire, aversion raiding Stirland, great power. Past treaties with Templehof, past war with Stirland, treaties with Schwarzhafen. 
Yeah, they're no too happy. But look at their vampire corruption, and it's getting nice. It is changing by 4.2% per turn. It's currently up at 25.2. Uh, untainted will be 33.3. Chaos corruption, no chaos corruption yet. Public order. Events, corruption, taxes, and raiding is pulling all of this down. They actually, before too long, they're gonna they're gonna flat out end up in uh, in some sort of revolt, I imagine, and that'll be grand because I will swoop in and take this place straight away. Right. Okay. Let's pass the turn. I do want to keep an eye on. Oh, they've moved around. A new sire. The Undead Legions grow, but not even our master can oversee every battle. More sires are required. Another vampire is needed to help bring about the Eternal Night. Hero recruited to Castle Drakenhof. Vampire. Oh, nice. Okay. Ivonette von Karstein. Or Karstein. I think it's Karstein. Vampires are the true masters of undeath. Despite their curse, vampires retain all of their devious intelligence and hence all of their ambition and desire. Upkeep 250. Very expensive. Corruption, damage buildings, inhibits, assassinates, demoralize army, prey, embed hero, heal troops. Increase replenishment of the parent army by 15%. Hmm. Let's have a look at you. What? Ooh, wow, okay, you... You're quite a potent uh, hero unit. The hunger... Uh, passive ability, the hunger, so you'll replenish HP. Uh, Hell Steed. Bar uh, barbed Nightmare. Safeguard, plus six armor. Melee defense, melee attack, leadership. Character's aura size. Spirit Leech. You can have some pretty awesome spells. You're a, pretty much as good as on cast, and in many respects. Uh, immortal Will, Evasion. But what do we have down here then? Expansionist. Prey action. Growth is increased by an additional 30. Deploy own province. Uh, Dissenter. Reduces the growth in the local province, so you uh, deploy it against a foreign province. Restorer. Casualty replenishment, plus 3%. Forces in local owned regions. Influential. Vampire corruption, plus 1 in the local province. Bastion attrition, minus 3% when under siege. Hardy, Replenisher, Attrition minus 3% casualties from blah, 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 Debilitator. Action, Leadership is modified by an additional minus 2, target for an army, Despoiler, uh, inflicts damage upon a building in, over there, increases replenishment of the parent army, and Accuser, kills the target character. Alright, so you can still assassinate, but it's very far down the tree. Honestly, this, this character more than any of the others looks like it would be a good one for, for fighting with. Um, life leeching, yeah, you you really look like you would be a good one for having in the main army, or in one of the main armies. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I suspect this character especially will be better for that. So, for the time being, what I would like you to do... Can you have anyone else? Yes, you can. Okay, right. Well, I would like you to embed in this army for now. There we go. And there you can stay. Right. Okay. Leader of the pack for our wolves. Or I can go for upkeep minus 10% for skeleton warriors and skeleton spearmen. That would actually be quite nice. Plus extra weapon strength. Very, very nice indeed, I think. And how are things going down here? You're also raiding. Such a thing is impossible. I could probably strike them now. And strike them hard. Either that or I could get back here and take that fort without them being able to do anything about it. So tempting. So very tempting. I'm going to move back and just watch where they're going for a turn. You need a level up. Ah, oh, fantastic. Is it because you're out doing this? I imagine it is, actually. Uh, sure, we're going to go with Spy. We're going to start building you down this path, I think. There we go. But I'm fairly certain that I'm just going to take that off them. They betrayed me. It won't happen again. Ah, oh, they, they cottoned onto what I was going to do. Scallywags. Damn it. Okay, well, uh... Hmm... Action against foreign ascent may have diplomatic repercussions. 
what could you do against them? Nothing, I don't think. That's fine. We'll just stick around here, just causing issues for that army. We'll pass a couple more turns. The Castle Templehof can upgrade. Ooh, what are you up to? You're suffering attrition, it's fine. What could we upgrade in count? Oh, okay, we could upgrade the lumber. Or at this point, we could go for something else entirely. We could start building the defiled cairn. Uh, left click to construct this building would allow us to get crypt ghouls, later on banshees and crypt horrors, and much later on white kings, cairn wraiths, and hex wraiths. Or we could go for stronger garrisons. We could. Go for a dark lair. Recruitment cost minus 10% for units recruited from the forest building chain. No, that's not what we want. Ancient armory once we've leveled up to it. Or we can get the Balefire Brazier. I think that is probably something worth going for for us. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start building that. I very much like the idea of that one. Looks like I might just have to pull away. Let them move out. Let them get a little bit more happy that we're not going to double cross them. Then move in. We'll see. What are they going to do? Are they going to move? I really hope you will. You've got an enemy army over there. Carrion. A uh, large undead vulture-like creatures that are drawn to battlefields and unholy summonings. Campaign line of sight plus seven. Oh, fair enough. That's actually pretty awesome. All things told. Uh, right, we've got a good chunk of money now. We're actually bringing in a reasonable amount, actually. Well, let's just have a quick look. Yes, carrion campaign line of sight. That's actually you know just flat out good. As for skills. Okay. Now, the Restless Dead, campaign movement range plus 10. That might be nice for us to be able to just chase things down. We've already got Soul Blight all the way up. We could start bolstering our charge now that we've got a steed. We've also got these. Grave Ward, Missile Resistance, Law Master, Law of Vampires. Cooldown minus 10% for Law of Vampires spells. Law Master, Law of Death. Meh. I'm not as not as keen on those ones, I'll be honest. Aura of Dark Majesty. Increase our aura of our leader. Hmm. No, I would like to be able to move further on the battlefield. I think. I think that would be very nice. Uh, right. Well, we've got a little bit more cash we can invest. We could upgrade this, which I would like very much so. Later on then we can have a look at this. We're at level 3 now, so I can start building these, which would allow us to get some better skeletal units. I could also go for the charnel pit. Get the Belfry Brazier. It's very tempting. We'll see. We'll wait on that one, because I'll need to pull this one down as well. Alright, I really want you to move, though. Right, who are you? What kind of army do you have? You've got swordsmen. Uh, Halberdier, spearmen. No, uh, actually, I could probably get in there and just fight you. Get a little bit of killing going on. You're at minus 47 at this point, which is glorious to see. 39% corruption here. All right. Yes. I'm fairly certain we were at war with them at some point, but apparently no longer. Which isn't as fun, frankly. Uh, relation. Oh, well, let's uh, try and get in touch and declare war. I mean. It's, it's only right. It's, it's, it's how civilized people do things. Uh, don't want to deal with you. Don't want to deal with you. 
This is where I'm attacking right now, Sterland. Now, strength rank four versus where strength rank one. This is your faction strength ranking rated against all existing factions. So we're very much in the lead. Non aggression pact. Slightly improves the diplomatic relations. Cannot trade. And. Meh. I think we should probably go to war. Let's go ahead. Speak. I will hear you now. Be warned, my mood is dark. Fantastic. It's going to get darker. I'm going to cancel this treaty. Drums of war will beat soon enough. Uh, <laughs> as it happens, yeah, they will. Well done. Very, very astute. Uh, let us see. I want to declare war. And this is going to pull Swartarfen into this war with me. Sorry about that. We call to Ulrich, the god of battle, wolves, and winter. Uh, I like all three of those things, actually. I approve of them. I refuse. Oh. Some of these units' details are unknown. Moving closer may reveal. Damn. It's a little bit stronger than I expected. Alright. Well, let's get a tad closer, shall we? Come. Impress me. What do you have? Sigma Still can't see him. How annoying. It is night. Well, we're going to change our stance. We'll suffer a little bit of uh, attrition when in territory controlled by the living. And then we're just going to throw ourselves into this battle. Charge! What? They ran away? Your army suffers in the miserable conditions they find themselves, my lord. Move them on, or more warriors will fall to the elements. But, but we were... No. Hey. I'll not walk into daylight. Not what? Like you wretched little scoundrels, you. They skedaddled. So now I'm I suffering. Can't. Or I can go back to raiding stands where I won't suffer attrition. Ugh. That's annoying. Really? I can't believe they, they skedaddled like that. Well, if I do this, then... Uh, Vigor in battle will be winded. Uh, and it's going to pull down... Uh, yeah, fine. I'll just end that attrition for now. It's not exactly what I wanted, but... It'll have to do. Alright, okay then. Well, let's end this turn. They're either going to attack me or not. If they don't, then they're wasting an opportunity, because I'm weaker right now than usual. Oh, okay. They don't appear to want to. Through shrewd diplomacy, or perhaps outright intimidation, Greenskins have convinced the Bloody Spears to join them. Oh, well. Now you're moving into raid. That is good to see. Let's move down there. Can we reach them in, what, in this turn? It looks like we can, actually. No, we cannot. Well, poop. If they move in there, then I'll just drop my... Uh, ambush stance when I enter my own territory, and I won't be suffering any attrition at that point, which would be quite nice. Alright, what do we want to do here? Um, yeah, I would like to build that. We're going to build these up pretty much everywhere we can. However, I would like Ready. my army here to move out. Can you get over there? You can almost reach. Just fine. It's good enough for now. Alright. Uh, actually, if I go for March, I can get you in there. There we go. You'll be in the March stands for now, but that's fine. Are you almost here yet? Not quite. They're... Around Essen, which means that they would probably natural resources are abundant in this place, my lord. Ooh. Capture it, and its riches will be yours. I like that plan. I like it a lot. Are they close enough to Essen to receive reinforcements? Is my question. Great. For now. If I move out here, I can probably be close enough I to this march. battle Going. to be pulled into it. The true and we've also got a level up. Excellent. 
Let's go ahead and take that for you. Um, raise dead. Gaze of Nagash. Cause magical damage. Strong for single combat. Effective at close range. Good from high angle. Poor penetration. Or just improve the overall speed. Construction. Co eh, no, we don't want that one. No, we'll uh, continue to buff that one ability there. And, actually, what could you do if you went out there and attacked? Find me. Oh, guess I'm gonna find out. That's not quite what I meant to do, but okay. You seem confused. Alright. Assault unit. Assassinate. Dark effects, minus two. Base chance, 25 plus five. I got a 28% chance, negative outcome is 72. Only 8% would be uh, failure. This is much better. Inflicts damage upon a unit in the target's army. 48% chance of a positive outcome. Hmm. Sure, go for it. Well, it's not up to par in this attempt. The mission against them failed. You suck! Can you do it again? You can! Uh, but there's much less chance of you winning this time. Oh no, that's... yeah, no. Don't worry about it for now. Okay. What about my main army then? Can we get in there and actually fight? We can almost get there. If we switch stance... Then we can't quite reach. Can you get in there? Let's see what you can do. 39%. Uh. Ah, sure. Risk it for the biscuit. Block army failure. Our banshee was not up par in this attempt. The mission against them was a failure. You suck so bad. Um, modifies the campaign movement. Oh, no. We won't try again. But, you know, well done in trying at the very least. I could try with my Vampirus as well. Let's see, can you actually do anything? Demoralize the army. No, you've got such a low chance, there's no point. Never mind then. Okay, well, uh, your move. We'll find out now if they can attack my heroes. It doesn't actually look like they can. Very well. I'm glad about that. Now they're losing to attrition from being in my lands, which I'm very pleased with. A vampire within your domain is needlessly feasting on the peasantry. They die in horror in their hamlets, leaving their pathetic farms untended. If mortals become too fatalistic, then we risk an uprising. The terror must be balanced. Uh, no. Templehof, I'm gonna take your lands. You scoundrels. I'd have done that anyway. Uh, right. Yes. Are you okay? Can you reach them? I think you might be able to. We can try it again. Yes, assaulting unit in their army. Aha! Successfully, uh, successfully impaired uh, their army, belonging to the Empire, and escaped unscathed. And you got a level up. Fantastic. Dum -dum -dum. Raise dead. No, we'll go with Gaze of Nagash, honestly. Not as fond of raising dead. What can we do here? Very low chance. Actually, we've done it. Did we seriously hurt any particular unit in the army? We might have actually just really hurt their lord. That is not what I meant to press. Can we get down there, block them from getting away, block army, assassinate, no chance. And low enough chance there as well. Don't worry about it. You go ahead and rejoin the main army. Uh, we could get you all the way over here, actually. Oh, I like that idea. Just four to five. Oh, okay, we can't. Why? Strike out. Uh, okay, we can if we do this. That's the card. Does that not work? Hmm. Right. No, apparently not. Can't have you join the gas in there. Hmm. Wonder why. Alright. 
Well, can you do anything for me over here? Demoralize the army? No, it's okay. It's too low of a, of a chance. Very well. I could have you do a forced march and just get in there. Now, that is going to mean that they're tired. That's not as good for me. Uh, okay, well, we'll just have no stance and just keep chasing them down. Once we're in our own territory, it'll be a little bit better. Can we, can, ah, really? We're not in our own territory? Ah, Scallywax! How terrible! Okay, where are you going then? No, you're still on the run. You're going into someone else's territory now. Ah. Okay, now that is a bit of a worry. Pick a winds of magic spell from the realm of chaos. Okay, what have they changed to? Uh, I can't see. Not so great. But we can reach them on this turn, I believe. No, they'll still be just out of reach. I'll dread. Okay, well, what we could do is enter raiding stance. But I'm alright with you just hanging tight here and going into this stance while I send you to do exactly the same thing again and try and do a little bit more damage to them. Indeed! Ah, oh, you suck. Why do you suck so bad? It's frankly disgusting. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh, you've got a level up. Let's have a look at this then. Assassin, plus 3% chance of killing a target. Uh, income from all buildings. Action income modified by additional. Deploying enemy provinces. Harassment, attrition. Minus 3% when under siege. No, that's not really any particularly nice things for us. Uh, this one isn't too bad, though. What is this one? No, we'll go with Assassin, I guess. We'll build up the Assassin perk. It's got three levels, so it'll be quite nice. Uh, as for you... What? I want you back Follow in Temple me. Half for now. You can just chill out there. There we go. Now, we've got a little bit of money we can spend, and Temple Half seems to be the one to go for. We would increase our income a little bit. Uh... Or I can wait. In fact, I probably should. We'll get rid of that for now. Because we can take this up to... In fact, we can take that all the way up. We'll wait two more turns because that's a lot of money to be bringing in. Once we've fully upgraded that. Alright, well that is going to be it for this episode, I'm afraid. I did want to get into another battle, but it seems that our, our prey really doesn't want to fight. I, uh, I suppose obey. I can understand. It's, uh, it's, it's intimidating facing two giant vampire armies when you're not quite at full strength. And more strength than I thought initially, but you're a bit of a concern, because you're going to come around behind us. You're going to be suffering exactly attrition on your move. Consent. Which is going to be nice, but we'll have to see. Right, well, that is it. As I said, I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll be joining you for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be able to run these cowards down and put them to the sword. Either that, or just start taking their territory willy-nilly, because they just won't turn around and face me. We'll have to see. But until then, do take care, everyone.